All right, so I was surprised that when I checked my Facebook account permissions, there were still some websites and old apps that I had used in the past that still had access to change things on my Facebook and the same thing with Google. So I wanted to show you, first of all, my dog, <laughs> Buddy, uh, but besides Buddy, which uh, you'll be able to see him better. Um, I want to show you uh, how to remove the ones that you don't need anymore. So let me go ahead and share with you my screen and then we'll get right into it here. All right. So, um, okay. So I've given you uh, a couple of links below the video and one of the links goes to here. It's called, it's, it's in your Facebook account. By the way, I use the dark theme. That's why my Facebook might look different than yours, but it's still facebook.com. Uh, so this is your Facebook account um, settings area, and this is called business integrations. If you want to find it in the future, you go to your Facebook settings and then you scroll down and it's on the left hand side called business integrations. And you might also want to check apps and websites, but I think the business integrations is more uh, intrusive. They get more data from your, from your Facebook account. So I think that's more important to check first. So here, for example, uh, I want to remove TubeBuddy. I no longer use TubeBuddy. So I'm going to click view and edit. And then it says, look, descriptions of what TubeBuddy can do have an updated. Uh, TubeBuddy can create and manage content on these following pages, the ones that I've checked. And I no longer use TubeBuddy, but they can still manage my content on my page. They have the full power to do it. They can manage comments on my page. They can do a bunch of other things, I think. So anyway, um, to, to remove it, I basically scroll down and I click on remove, okay? Just like that. And then do I wanna remove TubeBuddy? This may delete your TubeBuddy account, blah, blah, blah. So you just wanna make sure you read everything. And um, yeah, uh, I'm okay with that, but you just have to, yeah, you just have to be, um, be careful of what you're checking. Okay, and I'm not responsible if you don't read your uh, read these things before you click remove. Okay, so here we go. Click remove. All right, and there you go. TubeBuddy removed. And so I just would encourage you to do this for each of the old apps that you no longer use that you might be surprised. Wait, this is still here. What is this? Okay, so do that. Um, same thing with your Google. I've given you another link to Google. Um, and Basically, uh, this, these are all the softwares, websites that have access to various things on my Google. So for example, MindMup has access to my Google Drive, but I no longer use MindMup. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and I'm gonna click remove access, click okay. All right, there you go. So it's very simple here on Google. Um, anyway, if you scroll down, you can also find the websites that you have used Google, your Google account to sign into. And by the way, SiteKit, I think is an official Google thing uh, in case you see that and you're like, what is that? Um, but you might wanna remove ones that you never sign into anymore. Um, so let me see here, I don't know. Uh, haven't signed into um, you know, Grubhub for a long time. So I'm gonna click on that, click remove access. And it just means that the next time I go to Grubhub, I want to sign in using my Google account. I would just have to put in my Google password again, but it can't, nobody can just easily sign in to, to that account using my Google um, without putting a password. So anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, go ahead and use those links below and see if you want to remove anything. All right. See you.